Hey guys, thought I'd do a real fast new video for the new guys out there. We're going to just go over real quickly what everything is on the screen here. So, um, we'll do another video at some point to tell you how to make your screen look like my screen. But, right at the top here, this is the control. So every time a MIDI command is sent, that blinks. You have your audio there, so if there's no audio device, it would be like crossed off red. This is your CP load, uh, sorry, your CPU load. That one is the most important one, really. If that's spiking, hitting yellows and reds, your computer is not good enough. Or you have a bunch of things running, or there's a, something going on. And it's going to glitch out, it's going to drop audio, it's going to have problems. Your time, of course, uh, your mains. So you can you see mine is going into the orange there. Turn it down a little bit. Battery. If I unplug it, it will let me know that we're getting low. If we're recording, the recorder will be on. This changes our views. The browser. Mixer extended essential, so that kind of breaks it down to just the bare basics, right? Um, for all sense of purposes, we're going to go with extended. That just opens up your explore view, that's all. That opens up your preferences. That opens up, that's to uh, start a playlist, basically like an automated DJ deal called Cruise Mode. That's getting pretty advanced. That's your full screen button right there. So, very quickly, effects. Your wet and dry, different effects that you have. You can click here, change it to a single. So one effect with multiple parameters. You can click there, go group, insert, post fader, send, save the snapshot. So it saves it exactly that way. So every time I go back to it, it looks the same. Your metronome. And like I said, I'm not going to explain every little detail. This is just a quick overview. This is for your loop recorder. That's the volume for your loop recorder. This says where you record it from. So if you put on Q, you pick your Q point and it'll pick it from that point, right? Or your main will just get from everything. Um, your snap button snaps to the nearest grid. Quantization will make it so when you hit your hot Q, it goes on the next beat. You have your effects over here. This is your mixture section. I'm sorry if I'm moving uh, the mouse around too quickly for you. So your gain, high, mid, low, filter, Filter on off, min on off, their kills. That's not mapped on the S4. Your key adjust, you probably don't have to use that. There's your Q button to listen. You can pan left and right. Um, your volume control. And of course, you have the same over here. This is for effects one, so that would run all those effects on this. So you could essentially have effects on this channel and that channel from over here. Or effects from here and over here on that channel as well too. Or all channels, if you're gonna be stupid about it, I guess. You might make it work, it's hard to say. Um, the way the effects work when you go into your uh, group mode, they're chained. So that's the first one, the second one, the third one in the chain. So if you want to have a delay second and the reverb first now another video well I'm going to explain the reason why you want to change the order of things right here you have that's your um, your deck layout well your, your deck basically with all your you get your key you go in there and you can customize how this looks so if you go in your preferences take a look around you should be able to find it once again 
maybe we'll do a video someday checking that out. Your waveform, transport controls, loops in, out. Um, you can drop that down. You can move your feet jump, loop, loop in, loop out marks. You can change. You know, if you want to move that by little minuscules or you want to move it by bars. And then you go to your move buttons, right? Uh, cue points. Those are all your cue points. You can name them. I don't really know why you bother, but. And then when I put my, uh, I'm going to call that a fade in marker. And you can fade in, fade out. It has to do with the the uh, cruise mode, which I don't really bother using you know, very much myself. But it is smart. Serato doesn't do it. You have your grid. If your grid's off, these things shift and around. And this changes your entire the BPM so you don't really want to change that around too much. I can go in there and just type in 128 to bring it right back and you see everything's adjusted right. Um, that deletes the beat grid that plunks down the beat grid. That divides the whole account by half so if it was 64 see right there 64 no it's 128. If you need to tap out the whole tempo, you can do that as well too. Um, when you're done adjusting stuff, you can lock it up. Yeah, uh, those are remix decks down there. We're not going to talk much about them. You have your track collection and your preview window. Those are like your favorites. You can uh, Take something, let's see if we can find something here. I'll say demo tracks, it's already over here, but just to give you to tell you, you can drag it and just, it's like making um, shortcuts basically, right? Press spacebar, that opens up so you can uh, see what's going on. And then you can take things, drag them in. One of the other interesting things that works very well is uh, if you go into your Dropbox. This is something my friend Heather threw together. A little bit of mashup. Not the best acoustics right now either as I film this. Be cool mix. So yeah, you get the point. Anyways, um, this was more of a, a video just to kind of test out this whole system here. The screen capture and such but uh and hopefully teach you guys a couple of things anyways don't hate it's not the best video in the world but it's gonna have to do i will talk to you guys real soon